1986 was where everything began. Michael Jordan was putting on a record-breaking playoff performance against the Celtics in the playoffs. Jordan ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh. After the monstrous performance, Larry Bird began to wonder what kind of legacy they could build if he and Michael were to play together, but he quickly shrugged off the notion because he didn't feel that it would be right to have that much help against his rival Magic Johnson. However, he did take note of what he saw that night. Michael Jordan made his first finals appearance in which he faced and defeated Magic Johnson. It was Michael's first championship and Magic's last trip to the NBA Finals. Directly after that series, Magic knew his career was on the decline, as was Larry Bird's, so he called a meeting between the three of them to discuss the benefits of joining forces. Unfortunately, only a couple of months later, Magic Johnson was diagnosed with the HIV virus, meaning his life was likely over. Any hope the three had of playing with each other quickly came to an end, or so they thought. The HIV virus that I have attained, uh... I will have to retire from the Lakers. The summer of 1992 brought birth to the Dream Team, in which Michael, Magic, and Larry were the captains. While on the team, the three secretly began to discuss a plan which at the time seemed very impossible, but if it was successful, it would be revolutionary. They began to discuss investing their money in a project involving sports medicine. This medicine, which would take the form of a pill, would act like the Fountain of Youth restoring a player to his prime. In effect, the three would get the opportunity to play with each other one day. Unfortunately, everyone thought Magic Johnson was dying, so they held off on the project and just cherished the moments on the Dream Team in which they could play with one another. Fifteen years later, it had become clear that Magic Johnson would not lose his life and would be able to manage the HIV virus. At the same time, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant were both drawing comparisons to Michael Jordan. Michael was sick of being compared to them and wanted to put an end to the question of him being the greatest. With these events, the three legends started to invest their money into the project, codenamed Avengers. Eight years later, the project was successfully completed and a medicine by the name of Ageway was released. At the same time, Kobe Bryant had torn his Achilles and moved on from the Los Angeles Lakers. Derrick Rose and Carmelo Anthony had already filled Chicago, and Boston's point guard position was run by Rajon Rondo. This left only one logical location for the three to initiate the plan that they had discussed 23 years ago. The three masterminds behind the Ageway Medicine slipped on the purple and gold jerseys as their dream of playing alongside each other had finally been realized. With the rise of the new superstars that had challenged the legend's supremacy, the plan was no longer to add on to their legacies, the plan was to avenge them. What's up 2K fans, 2K Highlights on the mic and welcome back to another episode of the Three Kings of New York. In case you didn't make any connections in the intro, if you just watched it, I would really go watch the very first video in this Three Kings of New York playlist because I just basically tied together a lot of the story. So if that didn't make a lot of sense to you, definitely go watch the first video, you know. And for those of you that did see the very first video, you're like, oh shit, he just tied it together. <laughs> so um, today I'm showing you guys an episode from LA. Here's the deal. I don't play the Los Angeles Lakers for a good like month on my schedule. I don't play them for a long time and they're a really good team. So I wanted to give you guys an episode showcasing their talents because a month is way too long to wait for a team like this. So it's not me playing. I'm spectating. So enjoy the episode. It's going to be a good one. They're going against OKC. It's going to be really good. Westbrook matched up on Johnson. Crossing inside. Taking him. Hey, oh wow. He took Larry and Matt. I'm expecting Westbrook and Johnson to be a really good point guard matchup today. They're both going to go at each other. You already know Westbrook is fearless. Hitting off the Schumpert. Oh, he's wide open. There he is. Right in Johnson's off at three. So he's got five points to get him going early. He's got Magic Johnson in the post. Oh, he's too tall. Wow, he should have got that one. You know, we're going to see that a lot tonight. Magic Johnson in the post. He's a, he's a way taller point guard than Westbrook. So we're going to see that matchup a lot. And look at Kemp. He's there. Perfect place for the tip. 12-9 early. OKC's okay, so got the lead on LA. Pretty surprising there. Grid screen by Ori. And oh, what a alley! 
What a catch by Robert Ori. I did not think he could catch that one. My goodness, he reached all the way back. Good pass by Johnson, though. I expect to see that a lot tonight. You already know Michael Jordan's going to get it going tonight. This is a good defensive matchup. Look how close Shumpert is on him. Shumpert is crowding him, not giving him an inch of space. You really can't give MJ any space in this game because he can pull up from just about anywhere. Uh-oh, Obi lost him. He's inside. Count it. And the foul. Yep, Shumpert's just going to have his hand full tonight on MJ. He's not going to get anything on offense. There's no way he's going to have to finish. Oh, he beat him. Oh, what a block by MJ. Oh, but Patrick Ewing was in the perfect place. LA is going to have the same problem as New York has, you know. They Oh, well, almost a turnover. They don't have very many big men either. Same way I don't. They don't have any elite big men. So they're going to have a really tough time rebounding, defending inside, all that good stuff. And MJ at the top of the key. Uh-oh. That's four straight points. He's getting the OKC is ranked number two overall in my league. They have the second best defense. So this should be interesting to watch. Here's MJ. The spin. Oh, stop it. Just stop it. How are you supposed to defend against that? Did you see that? My God. He just... <laughs> That was ridiculous. He just did like a 360 jump shot. You know Shumper wants to get back at him for that. But you can't, he can't beat, oh, uh-oh, start a step. Oh, he beat him. And another block by MJ. Oh, MJ is all over Shumper tonight. Poor Shumper. He won't let Shumper get anything. He's, he's schooling him on offense. Oh, there's Westbrook wide open for three. It might surprise a lot of you how good Westbrook is doing already. You would think having to deal with Jordan and Johnson on the same floor would be hell, but he's taking it in stride. Uh oh, I see some screen action going on the right side. I see Kemp for the alley-oop from Westbrook. Playing with Sean Kemp is like playing with Blake Griffin. You just toss it up anywhere in the sky and he'll go competitive game to this point. His magic. Uh, looked like he wanted the screen there. Oh, he has Hill open. Oh, stolen by Westbrook. Westbrook is gone. No one can catch him. And for the slam. Steve Blake is running the point in the second quarter. Here he goes going inside. Oh, bad pass. Ewing with the steal. Uh-oh. Shumpert. I see Westbrook on the right side for the slam. And MJ doesn't want any. If there is a good matchup for LA, it's definitely OKC. They seem to match up perfectly so far. Uh-oh. MJ. The spinning move. The fade. You can't stop it. He's going out for 40 tonight. 51-46. OKC has led basically the entire game. So this is pretty interesting. Oh, uh, Larry Bird with the up and under. Pretty. Just put him in the basket pretty strong guy and here oh Shumper wide open there he is oh he has Kemp oh that would have been a slam dunk if he would have had Kemp right there just a bad pass and here goes LA on the fast break no oh what a pass he put the ball in the perfect place Johnson wasn't even there yet oh that was perfect Westbrook has been carrying his team in this first half he's got 23 of the 51 points there he is he's serving oh no one ever stuck to him what a performance by Westbrook right now. He is hyped. 25 points, 11 for 14. Magic or Michael can't guard him. Down to Magic. Oh, he has this. That's Reggie Jackson. There's Michael. And good defense by Kemp. I think he got a piece of that one. He goes, okay, see on the fast break. He's getting it off to Shumpert. Inside, not too well defended. Larry Bird went straight up. Good defense by Bird right there. And MJ right back on the fast break. The Lakers, they, they have the team to run, but they don't like to run as much as I do. When I use New York, and uh-oh, iso, iso play, iso play. Here's Jordan to the rim on Westbrook. Oh, now that's one way to cool Westbrook down. His pride just took a shot. Oh, my goodness. That was sick. That dunk got his team charged. You can tell now. LA has a chance to take the lead finally. Those kind of dunks are game changers. Yep, there goes Johnson on the cut. Too late. That should have been an and one. He looks like Westbrook has... Okay, see up by three. They've done a pretty good job holding on this run. And it looks like he had a screen. Oh, oh, Magic Johnson. Somebody call the ambulance. Oh, Magic Johnson couldn't keep up with Westbrook. Shots fired. He went the complete other way. Oh, but Magic took it right back to him. Can't get it. Rebound. Skyhook. It's good. Uh-oh. Shots fired. Westbrook and Magic, they're going at each other now. That cross. Oh, my goodness. You need to rewind the video and just see that. He went the other way. Good screen by Kemp. I like being able to check out their offense. I can see what they run so for when I play them. And there goes another cross. Wow. Westbrook has Magic Johnson on skates. That would have been two plays in a row. If he would have got him right there. Here's Magic to Larry. Bounce pass. MJ for the slam. Oh, did you see the ball movement between Magic, Michael, and Larry right there? Oh, that was beautiful. He hit Larry in the corner. The bounce pass to MJ. The reverse dunk. I don't know how OKC is holding on. They're, they're really good. And straight up to Patrick Ewing. 
Here's the inbound play. Are they going to steal it? No, he got wide open. Crossing inside. Magic the pass. Bad pass. Can Michael Jordan catch up to Shumpert? What are we going to see? The reverse slam. Oh. Here's Steve Nash at the handles. He's playing that reserve role at the end of his career. 40 years old. Didn't take the age away medicine. Good screen. Over the top. Up to Kemp. That's what I'm talking about, just like playing with Blake Griffin. He just threw it over his head anywhere. And Kemp. If any of you are wondering why OKC has Patrick Ewing and Sean Kemp, just be patient because that story will be told whenever I play them. And look at Larry Bird. Has he ever missed a shot like that? Come on now. 6.2 seconds. What are we going to get here? They can tie the game or take the lead. 3 seconds. Down to 2. Larry Bird contested for 3. And L.A. has the lead going into the fourth quarter. Now, that could be huge. Well, it's the fourth quarter. You know what that means. Just like I have Kobe, they have Michael. Westbrook's trying to play good defense. Here goes Michael in the post. Give him the shimmy shake, the fade. Yep, you already know what time it is. You can feel the momentum shifting in this game already. L.A.'s starting to have their lead. They have the point difference. Here goes, oh, that might have been a trouble, but it doesn't matter because he still got it. This is just like in New York. Every time you see it in the fourth quarter, I start going to Kobe. It's Michael time now. Oh, good screen by Ori. There's Michael in for the slam. Uh-oh. This spells trouble. OKC is getting in trouble now. Leaving the lane wide open. 114 to 111. Three-point game. LA is, LA is really giving it to him right now. Michael Jordan's wide open again. 116 111 Michael how many points does he have he has 30 points man the way at this pace he's gonna end up with about 45 Westbrook has done everything he can tonight to get his team to win off the screen gets a good shot he's done everything in his power to get his team tonight he got 37 points 16 for 22 shooting so he's only missed six shots and that's playing against Magic and Michael but he just can't play defense there's no way to stop that he goes Michael on the fast break now they're leading by seven. Okay, C doesn't seem to be able to weather the storm. What is he going to do here? Are they going to double team? No, they left the paint open. And Westbrook got dunked on again. Have some pride, Westbrook. Oh, my goodness. Michael has taken over this game. This is incredible to watch. I mean, Michael just has another switch right now. He just completely turned it on. He was, he was okay for the, the first quarter of the game. And how did Westbrook make that layup? Oh, wow. He he just went through three Lakers. You can tell he's doing everything he can, but his his big men aren't really helping him out much on defense or on offense. Ewing and Kemp. Uh-oh. Derek Fisher. Mouse in the house. Mouse in the house. Shimmy shake. Fade. Oh, goodness. Now you guys see what I'm going to have to deal with. That's 34 for Jordan. When the three kings of New York go up against L.A., you see what I'm going to have to deal with. I'm going to have to find some way to stop Jordan. I'm going to put LeBron on him. I'm not putting Kobe on him. I'm putting LeBron. Ewing looks like he wanted to post up, but he just didn't get it right there. Shot clock is running low. What are they going to do? Here goes Westbrook. Trying to get inside on Johnson. Crossing over. The fade. Oh, he still got it to go. Wow, what a game. So much back and forth. But you can tell OKC is running out of gas here. They're trying everything. Shot clock down. Double team. Michael shoots out of the double team, and he still scores. Is there anything that can be done to stop this man right now? Wow, this fourth quarter, I think he has about 14 or 15 points. He goes Ewing, the fake, post, uh-oh. Oh, what? Did Patrick Ewing just get hurt? Oh, no, I cut injuries off. What's going on right now? You know, oh, man, that's horrible. You know, I think, okay, see, they were going to lose. I don't know. I think, oh, goodness, how did Ewing get hurt? Oh, well, here's Jordan. They couldn't stop Jordan either way. They, now they're double teaming them. They're down by eight, and now they're double teaming. Gets it off to Ori. Down to Bynum. Blocked by Sean Kemp. And here comes LA. They have a 10 point lead. Oh, nearly is still there. Gets it back to Michael. Paint is wide open. There goes Michael Jordan again. He can't be stopped. And this game is clearly about over. LA really took it over in the fourth quarter. Look at Michael. He's just wreaking havoc. He's had about 20 points in this, in this fourth quarter. 13 seconds left. Well, this was a good game all the way up until Ewing got hurt, but I think OKC was going to lose anyways, and you see LA has no sportsmanship just like me. Well, it was a pretty good game. You guys got a good peek at what the Los Angeles Lakers look like. So, thank you all for watching. 
the next episode will be back in new york so just go ahead and stay tuned and be sure to follow the nba 2k highlights twitter and instagram page in the description box